Hi folks, today we're taking a look at Moonglow Bay gameplay, a fishing life sim that just came out on Steam. And there was a raccoon just in that bin just there. <laughs> so it's had a bit of a mixed reaction so far, this game. So let's have a bit of a go at it. And because I'm liking what I see so far, even if there are a few frustrating moments like them, I, I, I ditched the keyboard very early on because it just didn't work for me at all. <laughs> it was just clumsy and odd. Uh, but yes, I'm on controller now, and you can. Yes, it's a lot better once I do that. There is a little bit of, um, I think there's a little bit of tearing on the screen. I don't think I can actually turn V-Sync on, so I apologise for that. Um, so we're like about a few minutes into the game and my partner is missing presumed dead for three years uh, and now I'm off to do some quests in the traditional style. This is the, the world that we live in and this is our task. We've had a caller from Quebec and we're going to meet River and um, by the beach. River is my child I think from what I remember. Oh hello. I'm called Fish Cardi, deal with it. Um, you are right, the streets are so empty, I barely noticed before. The river, the town needs investment, pure and simple, but at least you have everything you need for your business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. First things first, let's catch some ingredients. Right, so we do actually do, do need to do some hot fishing action now, so let's toss. Right, let's see, where should we go? Um, cast, oh, dog. And wait. And don't worry, this isn't going to be too painful. I'm going to wait and go. Using the right button, preferably. When reeling, you can use a quick burst of energy effort to haul a fish in a particular direction. This technique is called striking. To strike, move something against the direction the fish is swimming. Then press left trigger. Just don't do it too often. Huh. Huh. Okay. Left trigger. There we go. Oh, I see. So we are, we are trying to guide it. Pull it towards me. And now we need to press right and left trigger. And then we need to press right just generally. And right and trigger. Pull it towards us. Oh. Careful. Careful. We don't need to get away. There we go. Oh, it's going left, right, going somewhere. Oh, we're basically fighting it, essentially. Left trigger, go on. Oh, we've run out of energy, I think. Okay, there we go. Wait for it. And now, there we go. That was possibly way too late, but never mind. There we go. The jiggler will attract aggressive and resilient fish. The spinner lure will attract fast and aggressive fish. The plug lure will attract resilient and fast fish. Remember to check which lure you're using whenever you cast. Ooh. Which one do I want? Let's go for the plug. Oh, hang on. Don't do it too early. Otherwise, it'll get away. Oh, right. Hum. Oh my god. Okay, that, that went a bit far to the right. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Pull, 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 pull. And... Hum. <laughs> I'm sitting it further away from me, I think. A child of the moon. Four kilos. Quick, feed it and urine. Perfect, finally a word on bait. Alright, um, what about bait? Uh, baiting your line is essential to catch larger species of fish. There are two types, low grade and high grade. If you catch with no bait, you'll attract small species only. A low grade, smaller, medium. High grade, medium and large. Okay, so let's go for... We haven't got any um, high bait, so it's got to be low bait. So let's cast. So it's really front-loading us with the um, the fishing information right now because this is kind of kind of the core of the game really. But there's also a lot of life life sim stuff to do, a lot of reading to do, and all. Go. Pull, 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 pull. Left. Does it need him? Um... Oh bloody hell! I think it should be. Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Okay, it's going right. So let's. Oh, right. Pull it right. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> okay, we need to actually reel it in. I think. Oh, it's going right. Or left. <laughs> Why can't I tell left from right? It's because if it goes right, I have to pull left, and it confu confuses my poor little brain. Oh, there we go. Ling! Huh. Excellent. Remember, there's a huge range of creatures out there, so mix up your lure bait and location to catch a variety. But your bait is limited. High grade bait will be particularly short supply. All right. Hey. Oh, hello. It's Abby Bran. Stop the press. Fish Cardi Fisher is out of the house before midday. Cheeky bugger. Hey, Abby, you remember River? Of course. What brings you to our shabby little burr? Uh, wait, fish cardy. Is that... You finally opened it? It's a fishing journal. Taylor and I... Um, deaden. Um, had a thing for these waters once. In fact, I'm reviving the business, selling street food straight from the ocean. You? <laughs> <laughs> but in these three years, you've never once struck me as being outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're going to peddle piskeen cuisine from those cursed cove in Canada, I insist you learn to cook. Follow me! Ooh, hello. Right. Okay, we're back home. Let's see. Let's see how this works. 
If you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your new best friend. To create a meal, you need raw fish, the recipe, and enough shells um, to cover the cost of any ingredients. So, we can make fish cake, because that literally just requires fish. Should require potato as well, but shush. But we... <laughs> right, what do we want? A grating belly fish. Well, that's going, going in my belly, so why not? Let's double it up. Cook. Which button is that? Oh, there we go. Your kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the only ingredient you need to source are the fish. First go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. Now wash the- oh my god. Now move to the different stations around the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. And be, be precise mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sale value. Okay, wash. What do we do? Uh, move that to follow the marker and rinse the ingredients. Okay, oh yeah, we go. Yeah, okay, so this is a bit like the um, Stardew Valley fishing game, I guess. Okay. Oh, dang! Okay, right, 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 follow the blue. There we go. Now we need to do the hot, overcooked chopping action. Chop. Oh. What do I do? Press when the marker is in each hit zone. Oh. Oh, here we go. Yep, timing. Perfect. There, we repair the generator. Now we need to... <laughs> now we need to boil. Okay, move to keep the, the water at the correct temperature. Oh, okay. Round we go. Down. Oh, okay. Oh, it's quite tricky to control. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yes. So it's exactly where your analog stick is touch and um, pointing rather than a left-right thing. Ah, bloody hell. Okay, so we need to fry it as well. Hold the release when the marker hits each zone. Oh, no. What? It, oh. There we go. Right. Now, down. Press when the marker reaches the hit zone. And tap right, presumably. There. Okay. Circles. Circles within circles. There are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. Wow. Finally, always remember to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will have to do for now. Peasant. Alright. I have a front yard. Just pet the dog. There we go. Snitches for all. Right. Put the meal on sale. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, there's a lot of people out here. Right. Fish cakes. How many? Oh, we only made one. I thought we made two, but obviously not. <laughs> Perfect. Here you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Feels and fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day, and the shells you earn will be transferred direct to your account. This old box isn't very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. Uh, mate runs the tech shop. He'll give you a good deal. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawlers. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. And talk to a marina at the aquarium. A good name for an aquarium person. Fishcard, are you really serious about this? No one's been out of these waters for three years since Taylor. I know. There are dozens, uh, um, hundreds of strange creatures out there. Uh, whatever. <laughs> and we both know what it's like to lose someone. I'll be okay, trust me. So, Sarah, Haru and Marina. I'll see you soon. Who are you? Oh, it's Mrs. Chips. <laughs> um, oh, hello. You must be the owner of the delightful yellow pup. Yeah, Waffles. He's a Nova Scotia duck trolling retriever. He likes chasing birds, barking at the front door, and rubs. Yeah. I'm Fish Cardi, by the way. I run a small street food business. In fact, I'm looking for new customers. If you have anything you'd like to try, if you'd like to root around in my bin for a fish cake, then <laughs> I'm sure you'll be very pleased. But nothing too rich or spicy. How about steamed fish? Just like they're making Malaysia. I have no gifts to give you. Well, let's go back in, actually. We got we got a new recipe, didn't we? So let's have a look at the recipe. Uh, we got well, we haven't got fish and chips yet, but I've uh, got boiled lobster. Okay, boiled lobster and lobster, um, whole fish, grating belly fish times one. So it's just okay. So we just sell that whole. Oh, sizzling fish, served owl. What did she want? I've forgotten already. <laughs> was it a boil? It was a steamed fish, wasn't it? Um, don't think we've actually got steamed fish yet. But I'm going to have a quick go at this. I'm going to try. See what we've got. Oh, steamed purple tail. Help a certain someone. That might be it, but we need a slicing tail or uh, something anyway. Let's try. Let's just try and do a nice whole basic fish. Just one. We don't want to batch cook, I don't think. Get fish, wash and fry. So now I'm doing it all on my lonesome. Uh, okay, fish wash. Right, how do, we, how do we do this again? Okay, left, right. 
Oh, this is good. This is good fish washing. I'm really getting to in, into all the crevs here. Yes, sponge that fish. And now all we have to do is fry it. Right, which one was this? Okay. And release. Oh yeah, whole fish is dead easy. Nice. Right. Time for time to do the old fish bun. Right, okay. Good. Right, does anyone want a whole fish? Hello, dear. Does anyone want a whole fish? What about you? I don't think we talked to you, did we? Hello, Claude! Have you had a chance to stop by my street food store? No. Oh, there's plenty of options. What's your favourite dish? Crab rice. Rice and crab in a bowl. Nice and simple. Crab fishing was Phyllis's passion. And gardening. And storytelling. Okay, crab rice it is. I'll whip up a batch and see you soon. I don't have any right now. Let's have a bit of an explore. Now we've been tutorialised up our house. Uh, let's onwards. 360 for style. Hang on, let's have a look at the map. I'm aiming to go to the tech place, I think. Well, that should be around... Does this look very techy? It does. Let's try and get in. Oh, it looks all kind of uh, real-time solutions, this is. Um, that should be okay then, shouldn't it? Oh, there we go. How you go to? Ha, ah, fish cardy. Long time no see. What can I help you with? Selling fish. Fish? Yeah, fish. Why are we... Oh, sorry. Yes, fish. Why are we whispering? Um, it's just been so long since anyone sailed the bay. What are you currently using? Yeah. Not much. My storefront is basically a storage box and an honor system. Oh, that's just sad. What you need is a windowed polyvent. Vending machine? For seafood? In this economy? Absolutely. My dad ordered a few on special imports. But with half the time shut, our three units in stock are proving tricky to shift. Tell you what, cook up and bring me some fish and chips. Maybe I can swing you a new customer discount. Alright. Right, so you want fish and chips for the lads. We actually don't need to do a lot of things. We need to tr speak to Marina and S Sarah. Aquarium and the boat shop. Alright. There we go, so let's just continue along the beach. Let's say hello to Purple Hat. Actually, let's actually, actually say hello. Regina Cheshire. Keep them peeled for the Tempest Sun. Catch just one and it'll grant you seven years good luck. Hmm. Alright, onwards. Where are we? Have we gone past it yet? No, we haven't. There's apparently something down here. Oh, there we go. Hey, Fishcardy. Um, Fisher, and hello to you, Sarah. Johnson, been a while, huh? Finally, you come to collect your trawler? Exactly, the two cats. Yeah. Seriously? I thought I was making a joke. In that case, let me find your paperwork. The two cats. Yes, clogged fuel pump and the intake, va intake valve is shot. For three years storage, you've got off easy. It'd be a hundred clams for the repairs. You can pay once I finish the work. Hundred clams? Or shells? Are you sure? That seems low. Yeah, don't worry. It's the least for Taylor. Just give me a little time to finish up. I'll be in touch well, once the repairs are complete. Oh, <laughs> she gave me a shove. She shoved me out. Ooh, cheeky. And here's the aquarium. The mega aquarium. Welcome! Apologies, the aquarium isn't open for visitors! Oh, yeah. uh, I'm not a tourist. I'm looking for Marina. Yeah. At your service! Fish... I've, I've already bugged up her voice. Fish Cardi, right? Taylor's husband? Yeah. Taylor is the soul of this place. The only ta sailor... Um, unfazed... Taylor the sailor. Unfazed by all the legends. Someone who truly recognised the potential of both the aquarium and Moonglow. Potential? For what? Yeah. To be famous! There are countless species out there unique to these waters. Just a handful will make the aquarium a huge tourist attraction. Okay, Blathers. So she wants three new species to set us off on our aquarium adventure. How do we get out of here? <laughs> oh, apparently I can't go there. What's this then? Okay, so this is... Okay, so we get to look at what's going on. We haven't got anything in there, so... Not really worth it at the moment. Where's the bloody door gone? I think that's the door. Here we go. Right, so we have met people, and now we need to so sort out our questing. Yes, we need three species to the aquarium, and give how fish and chips. So, ideally, we need to go and fish, I guess. Can we fish there? No, there's a certain spots around the place that you can fish from. I also find it very difficult to sometimes get off the beach. <laughs> there are only certain spots where you can. Let's have a look down here. This looks like a fishing spot. I wish I'd actually check my angle. Let's go back. Let's see. If I want fish and chips, okay, let's, let's work this out. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's me, I think. Right, recipes, yes. Yeah, so, if we want fish and chips, what is the the actual f recipe for that? 
Fish and chips mastery. No, we don't. We're not master. Any fish and some potatoes. Some spuds. Where do we get the potatoes from then? I thought we only. Oh, maybe we need to buy some. I thought we. Um, I thought they were all covered by the the clams, the shells. But we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll do a bit of fishing now, just because I. I think we should. Uh, let's see. I've got a balanced rod. That's the only one I've got. Lure. Let's try the jig. I think we actually have to select it. There we go. Uh, and let's... We haven't got any high bait, so... Well, let's just... Let's go for a lowy. So we'll get a big... Um... Slow fish, I think. And I think the further away you cast, the more bites you get. Yeah, the shadows are lengthening. And... Oh! Pull in, pull in, pull in. Okay, right, he's going that way. Unnecessary, probably, but... I think if it's only when you start to get a long way away. Then just, ah, there we go. That was dead easy. There's another grating ass bellyfish. Once more, let's check on the spud situation. So I can do. Oh, I can do this. Oh, it cost ten quid. Maybe I didn't. Okay, plus thirty eight percent. Well, let's definitely do this. I'm using um ling. Just the one. All right, let's see. Select. Oh yeah, select. Here we go. And then press start. Weirdly to cook. Get fish. Okay. Fish get. Fish chop. Right, what was this one? That was okay, we have to hit the thing. There we go. Uh, and then fry. Over here. And this is the one where I have to press right and Oh shit! The... Ignore that. <laughs> oh dear. I um, yeah, released it way too early. Now get potatoes. Do I have to get it from here? Yes, there we go. So that automatically happens for ten quid. Right, yes. I thought so, but I panicked. Chop. Chop. Right, boil this time. That goes over here as well. Right, okay, so this is one way after. Okay. Analog stick is 360-ing all over the shop. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oop. Perfect, this time. So, we might not sell quite as much. For the, the value might not be that... No, hang on, let's go back. Okay. Right, so I've got fish and chips. So, now, do I actually have to give it to... Um, I don't know, I haven't done this before, but... Do I actually have to give it to her? Directly, or... Will it? Will she be okay getting it from the box? I think. Let's track that quest. Pressing. Uh, oh god! Pressing the Y button. Uh, okay. Right. Done. So, I don't know if you're going to be still awake or not. So it's getting very late now. Aha! Oh, who are you? Where are you? Where's my mate? Oh, there you are. You're on the beach. Right. Okay. Give item. Select item, and then press start. Huh. There we go. Yeah, the inter some of the um, some of the keys and buttons or whatever slightly weird. But anyway, how are you? Your fish and chips, impressive. Let's see, attracted, wet, plated, well seasoned, street style. Your presentation is top notch. The window polyvend is exactly what you need. It's eye catching and simple to use. Your customers will happily pay a little extra per dish. I'll deliver the display model straight to your house. Just keep cooking what you're cooking and think of Haru when you need an upgrade. 360! There we go. <laughs> right, okay, we're just... Oh, is there? Yeah, there is, yeah. There it is. Let's have a look at the vent. fish vent. 3,000. Uh, we actually haven't got anything to put in there. <laughs> it looks like everyone's got their stuff there that they wanted. So, that's probably why we earn money, I guess. Anyway, it's time to go to bed, I think. Pet the dog. Yeah, don't lick me. That's, uh... Right, and bed. Is that Elmo? No. <laughs> Let's set the alarm for... 6am. No rest for the wicked. Night passes. Ah! And that's the first day in Moonglow Bay. Um, so yeah, a bit of hot tutorial action in that, but that's that's the very early days of it, and you can see how it goes, and how we're probably going to end up building up the town, and everything's going to be absolutely sparkly and wonderful. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Randomized User to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest, best new indie games out there. Check me out on Buy Me A Coffee if you want to support the channel. Bye for now.